All right, let's just recap the offseason so far for the Liberty. They acquired John Quill Jones, the 2021 WNBA MVP. They also brought in Kayla Thornton, who set career highs in field goal percentage, rebounds, and steals last season. Of course, Brianna Stewart, we met her today, the two-time champ and uh, 2018 MVP. And also, Courtney Vandersloot, third on the all-time assist list in 2021 WNBA champion, bringing the first championship to Chicago in the Chicago sky and the person responsible for all of those moves along with the size is standing right next to us now that is the general manager Jonathan Kolb and Jonathan we were just talking during the break how this journey started for all of us back in 2019 at Westchester County Center but it was the size leadership when they when they bought the team and it was your vision that got you here today you called it a bit what is that like it is surreal, and actually seeing you run down that list of just the off season, it's been a it's been a whirlwind. Um, but look, if you want to build something like we said from the start, special and sustainable, um, you need that incremental improvement, and we did that year over year. Uh, Clara and Joe and Ollie Weisberg, they all invested in this, and they trusted us in the front office with where that investment should be placed, um, and we just really went. We wanted to enhance a, a really robust uh, player experience with the Liberty, and I think that the players that are here see our vision. They trust us, and now uh, I'm just excited, but I'm excited for the fans as well. Walk us through the process just a little bit. How did you get the stars eventually to align? Just were you able to get the veterans mixed with some youth? Yeah, you know, so we at, look. We built it to be we, we, our draft picks. We utilized those. We went in free agency, and we were starting to acquire and accumulate talent and develop that talent. You never know know when you're going to have the opportunity to land this type of talent, right? And when you do, you have to take it. You have to jump at that opportunity. Um, to be quite honest, I don't know if there will ever be anything like this again. It was a confluence of events that came together with, with Stewie being an unrestricted free agent, Sloot being willing to leave a situation she was in for over a decade, um, JJ, an MVP not long ago, uh, feeling like it's time for a change of scenery, all of those things coming together. And I think just for us organizationally, we are in the right position at the right time to strike. What does this mean, Jonathan, in terms of we've seen Sabrina Ionescu grow the past couple of years, especially last year she had her best season in the WNBA, yeah. bringing in a vet like yep. Courtney Vandersloot, bringing in Brianna Stewart. And she talked about it with us a little bit about helping Sabrina grow her game. But I, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to hear from you. What do you think this does for her? Oh, I think it opens a lot up for Sabrina. Um, I think it opens a lot up for Bonaja as well. Um, this, they're going to be more open than they've been in quite yeah. some time. I mean, <laughs> I, I I mean so last year, she's, she's yeah. she'll play off the ball now. <laughs> yeah, like Sabrina got really good at handling that full court coverage. That team started to throw at her. She figured it out last year. But now, I mean, that's I don't see that as being an option for teams. I think also this is really good for Courtney because she's somebody that, you know, we want to extend her career. And now she doesn't have to do everything. Um, and so I think this is special for everybody involved. I, do. I asked the other two ladies about this, but chemistry, how, how do you yeah. build it now? I know that some super teams work, some don't. Yeah. W what do you do? How do you combat that? Yeah, look, it starts now. It's, it's having conversations with everybody and just making sure we can do everything we can to unite everybody, even from afar, um, and getting those conversations going. But Salute, Stewie, I mean, they're in communication with everybody already, and, and I just think um, it's just, it just it's going to fit. It's just the right pieces at the right time. Um, and, and they're going to fit together. Um, and, you know, even going back, I, you know, I've done a lot of research on super teams, if you want to call them that. You know, and even Miami, when LeBron went there, like, they struggled initially out of the gate, and then you saw what they're able to do. So I think the one thing is we have to just focus on ourselves, not get overwhelmed by pressure or anything like that. And I think these players have been through plenty of pressure. Um, and then we're just going to grow together and take it day by day. What, what do you think, and this, this meant a lot to me as just a sports fan, and that was the selflessness yeah. that they talked about taking less money you mm -hmm. called them partners that's yep. the word you used and I thought that was mm -hmm. very eloquent on your part but a reporter commented that this might set a precedent mm -hmm. in a negative way yeah I tend to disagree I think that sets a precedent in a positive way yeah. I, I just want to see what your thoughts were 
I agree. I think, look, I understand that where that question was coming from. I, I get it. Um, but no, th these are people are willing to sacrifice literally, right? That's what they're doing. And I think that actually sets the tone and the table for the rest of the team when it just comes to buying what their roles are going to be, what that looks like. And so they've already put their cards on the table and said, we're willing to do it. And, and I think the rest will as well. And how does taking that less money hold the rest of the team accountable to win? Yeah, I think, look, they wanted to come to, like uh, Sloot said, she don't want to be, they want to be additions, not not taking people away. And so they, they do what they had to do to come here and join a group of players that have been developing for a few years. So um, I think it just, I think it just speaks volumes for them and what we're going to do. I just wanted you to expound too on something else you said up there. And that was the players that are no longer here. Yeah help normalize this franchise to get to this day. It was yeah. the size leadership, it was your hard work, but it was also those players who are no longer here. If you could just expound a little bit on that and what they meant to this franchise. A hundred percent. Natasha Howard bet on us off of a two-win season, yeah. and she came here and she became, she continued a career that was an all-star at an all-star level last year. Um, you have Crystal Dangerfield last year. I don't know where we are uh, if we don't sign her mid-season. Are we in the playoffs? I mean, I think that's up for debate. Um, there's P there's players, I mean, even dating back to Kia Nurse, Tina Charles, I mean, everybody that's come through this organization uh, matters and, it, and it's lasting. And I think, like, once a liberty, always a liberty. And, and, and to me, I think that's what we want to establish here. And, and we always just have to, to honor and respect and be really appreciative for the people that came before. Jonathan, a lot of talk about the New York market. And why is it so important to have such a great team for the WNBA as yeah. a whole here in New York? Absolutely. It's it's really you guys. It's the media. <laughs> it's, it's the media and the coverage that can come from this. And what we want to do is have, we want the best of the best here. It's what needs to happen. It's going to be great for the league. Um, the coverage, like I mentioned during the press conference, has been outstanding. And I can't even imagine what it's going to be once we get rolling, you know? Yeah. Jonathan, thank you so much. You. We appreciate the time and uh, good luck this season and congratulations on a heck of a free agent haul. All right. Yeah. I'm going on vacation. We can't wait. <laughs> there you have it.